This is a video that's going to help you add positive and negative mixed numbers with renaming. Let's look at our example. My example is negative 7 and 3 fifths plus 16 and 1 fourth. Now whenever I add mixed numbers or fractions, I need to make sure that I get a common denominator. In this case, my least common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So my common denominator will be 20. So this is going to be negative, sum, negative 7 and something over 20 plus 16 and something over 20. Now I multiplied 5 by 4 to get 20, so I need to multiply 3 by 4 to get 12. And I multiplied 4 by 5 to get 20, so I need to multiply 1 by 5 to get 5. The next thing I do is I ask myself, do they work together or against each other? In this problem, the, pro the numbers are working against each other. And since my larger number is positive, my answer is going to be positive. So I like to put down the positive sign or negative sign so I know what my answer is going to be. The next thing I do, and this is where a lot of you make your mistake, is I have to subtract the two numbers and forget about what sign they are. And when I subtract the two numbers, I need to do it vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bigger number, which is 16 and 5 20ths, and I'm forgetting about sign, remember, so the bigger number, regardless of sign, is 16 and 5 20ths, and I'm going to subtract the smaller number, which is 7 and 12 20ths. Now the problem I have is I can't take, five, I can't take 12 20ths away from 5 20ths, so I have to rename the 16 and 5 20ths. The way I do that is I borrow from my holes. I have 16 holes to begin with, and I have to borrow one of my whole numbers. When I do that, I'm going to be left with 15 whole numbers. Now, with that one I borrowed, I'm going to cut that into 20 pieces because my denominator is 20. Those 20 pieces, along with the 5 pieces I had in the fraction, will make 25 20ths. Now I just subtract the other fraction. I don't change that at all, so I'm going to subtract 7 and 12 20ths. Now I'm able to do my subtraction. 25 minus 12 is 13, so the fraction is 13 20ths. 15 minus 7 is 8, so the fraction is 8 and 13 20ths. My answer for this problem will be a positive 8 and 13 20ths.